Hey guys, so it's time to do a quick little speed test between the Galaxy S8 and the iPhone SE. So the interesting part about the iPhone SE is that it is a, a redesigned iPhone basically with the, uh, the iPhone 6 processor. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure that it was and you can also see that it is the SE here on the back. It says SE. Uh, so I'm going to start by turning them off here. Slide to power off. And I'm going to turn off this phone as well. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. No, I'm fairly sure that the, the iPhone SE is going to take home this one because Apple has done some really, really good optimizations uh, with their latest uh, software. Okay, there we go. It's up and running. And I typed in the password. And you can see here, lag on Samsung, lag on Samsung, lag. And no lag on the iPhone. So that's cool. And this one is actually, I don't even think this one is running on the latest. Uh, I was 10.2.1, uh, but then again, Apple has released a lot of updates. Uh, to their device, so there for sure is newer versions. I think they are at 10.3.2 or something these days So that definitely is kind of um, good there to know and The Samsung phone of course is running still uh, on the latest software that I have updated to Android 7.0 with Samsung Experience 8.1 Something that can be interesting to know is that right now Android 7.0 It's not actually the latest version of uh, Android because there is an Android O developer version out uh, which is only well for the Google's Nexus devices uh, which I've done a quick little video on if you want to check that out and as you can see of course with the iPhone SE it will just have the same kind of color the UI as all of those um, other iOS devices and if I hold in here uh, there was a very, very interesting thing with the iPhone SE that I, I can't remember. So, uh, it, it, it kind of, when I tested it with Spotify, it has lower volume on the, the kind of like the speaker thing. So, that kind of uh, is a big of a disappointment, which uh, they for sure should be better at doing. What is this? You can be discoverable uh, in AirDrop. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, I think I accidentally tapped on it. So, yeah, but uh, this one is still a very, very nice buy, but I think it's a little bit overpriced. Uh, right now, these days, it kind of feels like a mid-range device. This one, you know, it costs, I think it costs like 500 euros or something in Europe. It is a little bit too expensive these days when you can get a pretty nice Android phone at that kind of price range. Uh, it is nice though for people that want to have this small kind of form factor, but I think that uh, uh, the, the Samsung Galaxy A3 lineup this year is way better, uh, 2017 edition. That one is going to go for, I think, like uh, 300 euros, but then also you do get water assistance, and that is something that you do not get with this phone, so definitely be good there to know. Yeah.